A little while back, I released a review of the Gep RC Mark IV quadcopter that was pretty freaking positive. But just a few days later, I updated it with what I called a fatal flaw for any flight controller and ESC. The flight controller and ESC had a stacking pin header and they were connected by soft mounts, which meant that they could move quite a lot and the pins would just instantly break off. I called this a fatal flaw because to me, no one should make flight controllers like this, at least not in the 30 millimeter size and definitely not when they're soft mounted. I know there are some smaller 20 millimeter and 16 millimeter stacks that do this and they seem to do okay, maybe because of their lighter weight. GEPRC responded and I want you to know what their response was, especially if you were affected by this. They said, first of all, that only about 30 of these quadcopters ever went out. They said about 15 to retailers and 14 to test pilots. And I said, it sure seems from the comments like a whole lot of people are being affected by this. But maybe those people weren't GEPRC customers. Maybe they had other flight controllers. I don't know. The GEPRC is not the only one who's ever done this. GEPRC says that after that initial 30 that went out, they also realized that this was a not the right way to do it. And they changed the way that it is done to use a standard wire just like this, which I agree is how it should have been done from the beginning. In addition, GEPRC says if you got the pin flight controller and it broke, you should email support at GEPRC.com and they will send a new replacement board, uh, presumably a new flight controller that has the pinned header and a wire, wire to connect to the ESC. Uh, if you're in the United States, they have a US support center. And he also showed one of the fellows who was commenting on the YouTube thread and showed that he had reached out and had made it right. In addition, he said, GEPRC puts great importance on customer feedback. We made a mistake. We will send the wire stack version to anybody who has this problem. So I'm putting this out there because I feel like one of my jobs is to point out when a product has a problem so that you don't waste your money and buy the wrong thing. At the same time, I am very happy to be able to announce when a company does right. And that looks like that's what GEPRC is trying to do. Um, if you got a Mark IV and you had this problem, then email support at getbarc.com as shown previously. They will take care of you. And if you're thinking about buying a Mark IV, from what they're saying, they don't have this problem. It was just a few of them that went out and it was early adopters who happened to get it. So uh, based on that, I am happy to recommend the GetBarc Mark IV. Uh, you could go back to my original review video and see all the things I said about it and the things I liked about it. Um, I was still enjoying flying it right up to the moment that those pins sheared off the flight controller and it started falling out of the sky. So if that issue is removed, it seems like a pretty good freaking quad. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much. Happy flying.